So, hey, how's it going, everyone? So, I'm gonna show you how to play Tigran Hamasian the grid intro on guitar, and we're starting right now. Basically what we have here is two bars and with a super cool riff that Tigron came up with dividing the 16 notes within that bar into different numbers. So two bars of 4-4 four four equals 32 16 notes. And what is going to happen right now is that we are dividing those 16 notes into 5-5-7, five, 5-5. Five, seven, five, 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 call today, which gives us 32. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to show you each one of these groups on the guitar, and then we're going to put everything together. So first of all, we have um, an open string. That's how, of course, I arranged it since the phrase is originally on piano. So I'm just going to show you how I came up with it. So we have an open string, G. Then we have, on the 12th fret, we have D. And then 12th fret, G. And 13th fret, C. 15th fret, um, D. So we have this group of five. One, one two, three, four, five. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have the next group of five. We have 13th fret, 17th fret. So that will be E flat and G. Then we have B flat here on the 15th fret. And then we have 16th fret, uh, E flat. And then we have F. So this would be the second group, second, second group of five. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now before I'm going to talk about the um, hammer-ons or, I mean, that's kind of up to you, you know, whatever works for you, but um, it depends on the tempo. But let's not talk about that right now. I'm just going to show you the notes. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have a group of seven. So I'm starting that group um, of seven with the second finger on the note B, which is um, the 14th fret. Okay, so we have this transition. So we have B, and then we have G on the 12th fret. Then we have A flat on the 13th fret. 15th fret uh, with the fourth finger on the B string, that will be D. So we have... And then we have three notes on the E string. E flat, F, and G, which is 11, 13, 15. So here we go, the first half, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, slower, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so now um, we have five, five, five. And the first group is just going to be the same exact group that we did before. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have F, which is the 10th fret. G on that 12th fret. 11th fret, B flat. E flat over here on the 
11 fret, and then we have 13 fret F. So together we have first group, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and second group, 1, 2, 3, Okay, and then we have this kind of like this metalish vibe going on. It's um, 10 fret, 12 fret, 13 fret, 10 fret on the E string, and 11 fret also on the E string. E string. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this brings us to 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So putting everything together, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, I do the exact same thing down an octave. That would be 3rd fret on the low E string. Then we have 2nd finger on D, bringing us to the note G, which is the 5th fret. Then again, 5th fret, barring with that same finger, into the seventh fret. So you can either use the third finger on the D note. I'm using the second most of the time. Then for another group of five, we have the same thing we had over here. But this time we are using sixth fret, E flat, then 10th fret for G. We're positioning repositioning with the first finger to play those B flat and E flat notes which is uh, 8th fret and 8th fret and then 10th fret so we have okay and then we have a group of 7 starting off with the 2nd finger 2nd finger on B 7th fret First finger on G, fifth fret, then I'm sliding up to the sixth fret, and then a triton above that would be D here in the seventh fret, eighth fret for E flat, F with the first finger in the sixth fret, and G. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have the first half. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right. So now for the second half, played down an octave, we do the same thing. And then this is a little bit more easy. First finger on the third fret. And then we have... Third finger over here, so we have F G. Third fret, fifth fret, fret, and then we have third fret B flat, E flat, and F. That will give us, give us a group of five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we have another group of five right over here. Exact same notes that we played the higher, um, the octave higher at the beginning. We have third fret. 5th fret, 6th fret, that's C, G, A flat, and then we have over here with the 1st finger, D, 2nd finger, E flat, 3rd fret and 4th fret. So we have, all together we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it in tempo, in a few tempos for you to practice. If you haven't, please make sure to download the PDF and the Guitar Pro. It's 
absolutely 100% for free and it will be somewhere here in the link in the description or wherever you're watching. The link will, will be in the area. Um, that's it. If you uh, enjoyed it, please make sure to give this a thumbs up or a like or a heart or where, whatever. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you soon. Let's practice. transcribing this week and if you have any question about the topic I will answer every question also please like this video and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon